Another important aspect of valuations is how we treat the terminal value. So if we have a project and we know we're going to spend that much and this is what we're going to get, it's highly unlikely that at that point everything stops. You probably have either some assets left over or you can sell the business or on the other side perhaps you've got some costs. So for example in a mine there might be environmental costs. The question is what do you do with this number? Now how you come up with a terminal value, there could be rules of thumb, so perhaps your business runs on a can be sold on a three times EBITDA or an eight times PE or something like that. Or you could use the Gordon Growth Model. Now the way the Gordon Growth Model works, it says take the previous year's cash flows, grow them, and then divide them by your discount rate less your growth rate. This number here is then calculated, but the big question is what then discount factor should we use? This is being calculated and I suppose you could say it's in period 6. But if you look at the calculation it says the price in 0 equals the division in 1. So this dividend in 1 sorry. So this number here is actually at point 0 which is actually period 5. So when you do these cash flows whatever your last discount factor was that's what must be used to discount this back all the way to here. If you want to do it in one step, what you could do is then work this terminal value out and actually put it underneath here, add these two together, and then multiply by that factor. But it's very important to realize that this amount here is trying to value the future, and it's valuing at the point in time at the beginning of year six or else the end of year five.